Clockify's free plan offers unlimited time tracking and reporting. But if you need more, this video will show you everything Clockify has to offer so you and your team can improve your productivity. My name is Dimitria and let's start with time tracking. In Clockify, you can set different time tracking targets for different teams or team members. For example, 8 hours a day for full-time team employees or 4 hours a day for part-time team employees. However you set your time tracking targets, you can set reminders to be sent to members who haven't logged enough time or to those who have logged too much time. You can choose the hours that will trigger a reminder on a daily, weekly or monthly basis and who will be notified, only those team members, their team managers or all admins. In the same way you track the time you spend on work, you can also track the time you spend on breaks. If you're using a tracker, you just need to switch from tracker mode to break mode and start the clock. The same goes for when you're tracking time through a kiosk. Just click the break button and the timer will start ticking. And in the timesheet, you choose the default break project you've previously set for tracking breaks. Afterwards, enter the time you spent on the break. Clockify allows you to mark time entries as your favorites. This way you have easy access and can reuse them with just one click, making time tracking faster and simpler. Once an entry is saved as a favorite, changes to the original entry will not change the favorite entry. Each user has an option to have a maximum of five favorite entries per workspace they're a part of. They can be in the form of a text, number, link, switch button, or a single or multiple selection list. As for the custom user fields, they will be visible in the user profile. Custom time entry fields will be visible in the tracker section and in the timesheet view if you click on more details on an entry. Later you can see these fields in the detailed reports as well. You can also choose for which projects a custom time entry field will be visible, so the field will appear only for those projects. And you can define default custom field value for cases when this value doesn't change from user to user. Custom time fields can also be marked as required, so users won't be able to save an entry without them. Besides custom fields, the already existing time entry fields such as description, project, task, or tagged can also be marked as required. Clockify gives an easy way to switch from another time tracking tool your team might have been using, or any other manual method of recording your work hours. The only thing you need to do is format data in the right way and import it as a CSV file to Clockify to continue where you left off. Clockify will then record your existing projects, clients, tasks, tags, time entries, and users. Activating the force timer option will prevent users from entering time manually or changing the start and end times of an entry. Members can then only track their time with the timer mode. If your team has been using a kiosk to track time, in its paid version you'll be able to add your company's logo and customize the length of the session once the kiosk is launched. Personal pin codes let your team members log in to track their time on a kiosk with their pin code. This increases the overall security and accuracy of time tracking. So, if you have multiple kiosks, one can be open for 24 hours and another for 48 hours, depending on the shift schedules or working locations. Clockify integrates with QuickBooks, so you can send recorded time from Clockify for billing and accounting in QuickBooks. By connecting Clockify with QuickBooks, you will be able to sync users, projects and clients, and automatically add any information from Clockify that's missing in QuickBooks. All track time in Clockify can then be sent to QuickBooks from the detailed report and those time entries will be marked as sent. As you add new users or projects, make sure you sync the apps so that you can keep sending out time tracking data from Clockify to QuickBooks. Clockify gives you a way to stay on top of project deadlines and budgets by setting up estimates and alerts. Time and budget estimates can be set in total for the whole project completion or for each specific task if you want to track the progress in more detail. Both options can be reset every month, so that each time a new month starts, the dedicated hours or budget for that project or task will renew. If a time estimate is set for the whole project, you can choose whether that time will include non-billable hours you spend working on a project, such as meetings. The budget estimate can include billable expenses so that every time a new expense occurs, you still know the exact amount you have at your disposal. With alerts, you ensure that you and your team get notified on time when a project reaches a certain percentage of an estimate. You can choose at which percentage an alert will be triggered and who will be notified, 
whether it be admins, managers, or project or task assignees. With Clockify, you can have an accurate representation of your business's profitability at any given time period. But you first need to set up billable rates to see revenues and cost rates to see costs. Depending on how detailed you want your profit analysis to be, you can set more or less specific rates for the whole organization, per team member, project, task, or team member on a project. As your team tracks time on the work, Clockify will pick up the rates information and you will be able to see revenue amounts, costs, and profits in time reports. You can then filter them by teams, clients, or projects and export them for further analysis. In case you want to set new hourly rates, or if you realize that you had the wrong rate from the start and want to set a new one, you can apply the new rate to all previous and future time entries, or from a specific date onwards. There are two types of team reports in Clockify, the attendance and assignment reports. The attendance report shows you the daily start and end time for each team member, allows you to compare the team's work capacity with the actual hours worked, and see their daily time off. Assignment reports show you the difference between the scheduled and tracked hours, with a progress bar demonstrating the difference visually. Both reports give you the option to filter out displayed information in multiple ways, and export reports in a customized view. All your recorded expenses will be visible in the expense report, where you can filter them by team, client, project, category, status, note, or date filter the information you want to see. You can also export the report along with all the receipts for your internal log. GPS tracking lets you see where your on-field employees currently are, and when is the last time they were active on their Clockify mobile app. You can also use the GPS tracking feature to replay the team's daily routes and check if their transportation routes or allocation on-sites could be optimized. The audit log shows you all the changes made to a time entry by a certain user on a particular date. You can run audits for a particular date or time period for a specific user or for an action that was made such as creation, edits, or the deletion of a time entry. And you can export audit logs as CSV files. With a time audit, you can find all entries that are too short, too long, or that are missing information such as project or task. Shared reports give you a way to receive custom reports every day, week, or month without repeating the process of filtering and exporting data regularly. Filter the information you want to see in the report, and before you share it, choose if it will be private so only the selected members can see it, or public if anyone with the link can view it. A shared report will be received via email, when you choose who will receive it and how often. Work on similar projects can be organized much more easily with project templates. When you create your typical project for the first time, save it as a template, so that the next time you're adding a new project, you can just choose this template as a basis. The newly created project will inherit its task structure and settings, but you'll be able to customize it further. Clockify Forecasting gives you a way to track and foresee your progress on a project. Forecasting takes into consideration the estimates, schedules, and track time to warn you if and by how much you will exceed the deadline or remain within it. Based on that, you can then adjust the estimates or reschedule your team. Besides filtering, Clockify gives you the option to customize reports even further every time you export them. You can choose which data to display, and which to exclude in CSV, Excel, or PDF reports. You can also round time entries up, down, or to the nearest value, so that your reports provide a quick and easy overview. The Screenshots feature takes a screenshot of a desktop screen while the user has the timer on. Screenshots are taken every five minutes and are by default blurred for privacy and security reasons, but they can also be taken in high resolution. If screenshotting is enabled, all users will receive a notification, so it can't be active without their knowledge. Regular users can see only their own screenshots, while admins can see all screenshots. Screenshots are tied to time entries, so if an entry gets deleted, so will the screenshot. export your data, it'll be displayed as such. 
so you get the prepared numbers for detailed calculations or analysis. Your team's time off in Clockify can be managed through holidays and policies. Both holidays and policies will have a dedicated color to distinguish them quickly and a list of people they apply to. Holidays can be set to repeat annually on selected dates. The difference is that holidays don't require approval, unlike policies which usually do. And policies can be customized even further by choosing if they will be expressed in days or hours, require approval, accrue automatically per year, and so on. Time off requests can be filtered by status, team member, and date or time period, and then exported for your internal log. The Timeline tab gives you an overview of who is absent, for how long, and based on which time off policy or holiday. The Balance tab shows you how many days team members have used, and how many time off days they have left. You can also manually add or remove time off days from their balance see the history of time off changes, and export data for your internal logs. Timesheets and expenses can be submitted for approval, so managers can review them before approving them. Submitted timesheets and expenses will have a pending approval label, so you know they've already been submitted. You can review pending requests and reject or approve them one by one, or glance over the main information and approve them all with one click. Pending requests can show you more details and be edited if you click them. Here you can edit them if you notice a mistake. Or reject them completely for a user to submit them again. You can also remind team managers to approve their team's timesheets and remind all members who haven't to submit their timesheets. All approved or rejected timesheets and expenses will be visible in the Archive tab, where you can filter them by date, team and status. In Clockify, you can make schedules by allocating people to projects, which is the project view, or by allocating projects to people, the team view. However you make your schedules, you will see the same information in both views. In the project view, you start by adding projects to the list and then allocating people to them. When creating an assignment, you can set its start time, mark it as billable, repeat the assignment for X number of weeks, and add a personal note for more detailed instructions. Here you can also add milestones to a project timeline and mark any important dates or events. Once published, team members will be able to see their assignments in the calendar and start tracking time on them. TeamView lets you make schedules based on the team's working capacity, creating an assignment function the same way as in the project view. If you schedule someone over their capacity, Clockify will warn you so that you can edit the schedule or edit their capacity right there. You can still schedule people over their capacity to keep track of overtime hours. Once they track time on their assignment, their overtime hours will appear in the attendance report. Expense categories in Clockify are a way to segment your expenses, and they can represent any frequent expense type that occurs on your day-to-day. -day. Expenses can be recorded in sum or based on their unit price. For example, recording a travel expense with a unit gas price per mile. If an expense is billable, it'll also be included in the budget of a project that it's tied to. Recorded expenses can then be submitted for approval if they need to be reviewed or corrected. Clockify gives you a way of billing your services and expenses to clients right from the app. Invoices are created by choosing which clients to bill and which projects to import the billable hours and expenses from. You can also change currencies for each invoice, control which fields will be displayed, and change the legal entity you bill from in case that you have multiple. Each invoice can include taxes or discounts that you may have for that client or invoice specifically. Once created, you'll be able to track invoice status from unsent, sent, paid, partially paid, overdue, or void. Partially paid invoices will have a date on which the payment was made and its amount so you know how much remains to be paid. You can also customize email templates when sharing an invoice, both when sending it out for the first time and when reminding people. Besides the default currency, Clockify lets you set multiple currencies and choose a specific one for each client. So, all billable time entries and expenses related to that client's projects will be expressed in their currency. 
and you can even filter reports through currencies. For example, you can use it to see how much you earn in each currency. Bulk editing allows you to update multiple time entries, users, and projects at once. You can archive or delete clients and tags by simply selecting multiple or all fields that you want to change. To prevent regular users from changing previous entries and to ensure your time logs and recorded expenses stay accurate, you can activate time and expense locking after a certain period of time or a specific day. You can lock entries before a specific day in the year, automatically set weekly or monthly locking days, or lock all entries older than X number of days, weeks, or months. However, as an admin, you can see your team's timesheets and add time on their behalf even after the timed entries have been locked. You can do that in the member's timesheet or calendar, or in the detailed report for multiple people at once. There are two types of manager roles in Clockify that can help speed up and optimize your processes, team and project managers. Team managers can see and edit their team's time and expenses, approve timesheets, and see reports. Project managers, on the other hand, can manage tasks on their projects, add or remove people from their projects, schedule or delete projects, see and edit billable rates, and edit the project's budget. With account control, you can get direct access to your team's accounts. You can also log in on their behalf, access and change their personal information such as name or password and more. As there are different permissions for different users, it's possible that some users don't have the same access to features as other users. For example, you can set that regular users won't be able to see reports, all projects or teams. Or that only admins can access project status and progress. Single sign-on or SSO enables users to log in to multiple tools with a single ID and password. Clockify supports SAML2 and OAuth2 protocols, which are used by all major identity providers such as OneLogin, Okta, Rippling, Google, Azure, and GitHub. You just need to add a custom subdomain for your organization. And then your team can still use one way to log in to Clockify. By creating a custom subdomain for your organization, you make sure that your team only logs time in one place, and not mistakenly in their own private Clockify account. Forcing two-factor authentication requires everyone to have two-factor authentication enabled for better security. If two-factor authentication is active for everyone, each user will receive a code via email prior to logging in. Clockify gives you alternatives to store your data in different geographic regions in case you need to ensure compliance with specific laws or regulations. You can opt to store your data globally, in the USA, Australia, EU, or UK servers. If you aren't sure if Clockify's extra features will serve your team, you can activate a free trial for seven days and test out the features for yourself. No credit card required. Be sure to explore all Clockify features in depth and check out our other tutorials and guides for more information. Thanks for watching. Bye now.